so the last rant lanes I ended with, you know, yeah, is says hoping to avoid future climate change and whatever. <laughs> All together now? Ha <laughs> um, ha. Of course, one of the big issues of climate change and other really serious environmental issues um, is that it, it wasn't forecast. We didn't know <laughs> the kinds of impacts that activities were going to happen. Um, you know, we, we don't drive cars intending, you know, to melt the earth or whatever. Um, yeah, we don't build electrical uh, and electricity generating plants, you know, whether they be coal or nuclear or anything else, you know, intending to blow them up. Um, so it's tricky, and, and that's one of perhaps the obvious flaws of environmental impact assessments, um, is that it's, you know, forecasting future harms. <laughs> when probably a lot of the big, big, you know, long-term harms, well, we just don't know, we can't name. Um, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty and things like that. Foresight certainly isn't, um, and an environmental impact assessment is not. Uh, we don't know everything that could happen. Uh, but the process, I think, is still a valuable one um, in getting us to try and think through those things um, and, and trying um, to listen and consider. One of the major processes, then, in an environmental impact assessment is some kind of public involvement participation consultation, um, engaging with stakeholders uh, and getting their opinions. Uh, and this would, you know, okay, if we go back to the factory building example, certainly, you know, the dudes building the factory, but also the people who are likely to work at the factory, uh, the community whose backyard the factory is being built in, um, the government authorizing the, sh the factory, um, perhaps even the people who are going to buy things the, pet the factory makes, all of these kinds of things, um, figuring out what they want, what their motivations are, what they may be likely to say or not say as part of the process, <laughs> um, you know, for what's, you know, I, a, a contractor is very likely to underestimate costs, um, both in production and in the environmental, right, because they want to win the bid and they want to build it, right? Um, a community is likely to be more focused on things like how much noise, how much pollution, etc. You know, this is this is Nike. Um, the producer of the factory may overestimate the number of jobs this is going to bring and whether or not they're actually going to be local jobs and those kind of things. Uh, so then the question, though, in, you know, this EIA sets up a formal process by which these kinds of consultations could happen and voices could be listened to and actually considered. Uh, it, of course, also formalizes a process which could keep ignoring certain voices while legitimizing and amplifying others. Uh, so one of the things that I'm interested in, you know, kind of in the large, expansive interests of mine, <laughs> uh, is how participation can impact environmental impact assessments. Yes, impacting impact assessments. Um, and or how EI, yeah, so how EIs can be used or abused by various communities um, and how various communities can be used or abused by EIA processes, if you will. Um, so it's, for example, quite easy, unfortunately, to kind of hold a public meeting, you know, at say 10 o'clock a.m. on a work day in the community, you're, and then like write up a lovely little section and report, you know, like, oh, we consulted the community and these are the concerns that they said. Right, not mentioning the fact that you know the consultation was held in English and the native language is not English, you know, or it was held during the workday when probably a lot of people couldn't make it, uh, you know, it, it wasn't well advertised, you know, things like this, and yet suddenly participation has happened and the community has you know given it their stamp of approval. Um, it's very easy to make things like participation look like that. So participation is of course a great thing. I'm very much for it, um, but it's also a process that can kind of be used to legitimize projects um, and take away agency as much as it can give agency and power to various communities. Um, so EIAs, good things for the most part, things we should be doing, we need to try and figure out the consequences of actions. Um, participation, also generally a good thing. Um, but of course, nothing in this world is so black and white or non-nuanced. Um, so along with everything else, questioning needs to happen, critical reflection needs to be happening, and folks need to be held accountable, including for accountability itself, if that makes any sense at all. And so I'm going to be working on a paper with a mate that's looking at the role of participation in EIS, particularly in highly securitized and politicized environments, and I'll let you know how that goes.